That's sanded down in 3000 grit. I started out with 120 on a DA, jumped all the way to 600 on a DA, and then I went over with a red scotch bright, kind of clean it off, and wet sanded with 800, 1000, and 3000. This is 3000 right here. Actually, not right here, but the main part of it is 3000. And we both liked the look of this countertop right after we stained it. The nice dull black finish, it looked really nice. But we knew we had to protect it with something. We had to put something over it. So we went ahead, put the epoxy over it. And the shine, right after you pour the epoxy, the way you can see through it, it really makes that wood grain kind of pop out. You can see right through it. You can see everything to it. It looks beautiful that way. But we still, we still like that dull look, that dull finish. So my wife wanted to see it after I sanded it with the 3000 grit, just to see what it looked like. So I'm gonna go get my wife and show her what it looks like sanded in 3000 grit and see if she likes it. And then I'll put some water on it in one area and see if she likes it more that way. It's, either way, it's not ready to go in the house. I've still got to sand this area. The inside this is just barely even touched and the edges all the way around the outside edge still have to be sanded and possibly polished if we go with the polished look. Let me go get her and we'll see what she thinks. So this is, it's 3000 grit for the most part. There's a little bit that needs to be finished sanded, mm -hmm. but this is 3000 grit. This is as dull as you're going to get before I polish. So look at that. Mm -hmm. And I'll get some water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it'll look like after it's polished. polished. Realistically, it's going to get scratched. The dole won't show scratches as much. But, yeah. I don't know. Polish it. Polish it? Sure. All right. I still got to do the inside edge here. All this is barely touched. It's still just a little too And the outside edges. Outside. I don't yeah. know. It's hard to tell because with the light coming in from out there is really bright. So, and it's at an angle. Yeah. So, it's hard to tell what it's going to look like with just a bunch of overhead lights on it. But, but it does look really nice when they're shiny. So, I might as well do it. All righty. Okay. We should get on that then. We, you and me. We will get on that? We'll get on that. We, huh? We. Like, I sanded, so you polish. I am polished, but I don't know about I will polish.
So countertops hanging off this stem wall on this side, about two feet, 23 and a half inches. And we're gonna put cabinets to replace these. These are just temporary cabinets, but our cabinets are gonna help support the countertop out here. They're gonna go all the way to the top. But until then, we have these big beams right here to support the outside edge of the countertops in case somebody leans on it, it doesn't rip the screws out of it. And then we've gotta put a side piece on over here that we haven't made to cover that side of the dishwasher and then we can finish that plug up. Here's the finished product. It's our countertop. We've worked, uh, I think we've worked on this thing for about a month now. It's been a long time coming. And you can see the idea behind the recessed area here was to keep any water that kind of splashed up here or the dishwasher drain would all eventually come into the sink. And I did put a nice bead of caulking around here to seal off the sink so that it wouldn't go in between the countertop and the sink. But there it is. I'm sure we'll have it piled full of dishes here soon. Get some use out of it. It's nice to have a kitchen countertop that we can make meals on and eat meals at. And it's all centrally located instead of walking back and forth from the sink to the stove. It's hard to get a good shot of this countertop because it's a dark color and then it's got this thick coat of epoxy on top of it. It tends to just give you a reflection of whatever's on the other side, in this case the ceiling and the lights. It's kind of all you see when you look at it. But I'll try and get a couple good pictures and throw them in here so you guys can see, the, see what we see. Until next time guys, go make something.